And there we go. I think that was uh, pretty interesting, man. Pretty interesting indeed. Yeah, looks cool. Um, you know, we never really got too much of Boba Fett when, and he was always the most popular and coolest character. But it's so funny that he was the one that got the most least screen time throughout yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, even beyond um, least screen time, like if you count it up, I feel like the lines. The screen time, like, everything about a character that you would count as, like, presence in a movie, he probably has the lowest amount of, like, most Star Wars characters. I think Jar Jar Binks has more than ten times as much screen time and lines as all of Boba Fett's appearances. Right. I mean, it's not until now <laughs> Until now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Until, until The Mandalorian, but all of Boba Fett's original until movie then, appearances. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, well, we until really... Jar Jar, because then you also got more Boba Fett in... Um, oh, right. We Clone got Wars. a little bit of his, uh, yeah, yeah got his, his dad, uh, Django Fett, yeah. and um, although I don't think yeah, we got said little, we got much. yeah, like say yeah. they got a little bubble. but I think we really <laughs> didn't get much from them he, him there either, like on screen, like you got a little flash of baby Boba, and you saw him like see his father oh, die, it, right or whatever, yeah. but no, 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 no offense to him, but yeah, yeah, the the bad batch I think goes into that a little bit more too as well. Yes, um, actually, yeah. they do mention his name. I think not always mention his name, but you know, because they had said, you know, are you the yeah. only kid? And she, I think she had said there was another one, which I think they were mentioning Boba as uh, being that little kid. But yeah. um, <laughs> other than that, I mean, um, yeah, it looks cool. I mean, I, I'm really cool that it's really, or not really cool. I'm really glad that he's getting <laughs> his own kind of show now, and we get to see more Boba Fett. So that's I'm always. Uh, down for some more boba <laughs> yeah i think he's a real popular character i think they do him pretty well in almost all his appearances and stuff so i don't think it's going to be a big issue at all uh you know at least not in my opinion but you know yeah. people are always you know the new stuff is all guard like and it's not they just don't like the new the new trilogy right that isn't that their big thing yeah and the trilogy i mean it does have its up and down yeah stuff. i'm not saying it's I mean, great but i feel like some of the yeah, hate I know what you mean yeah yeah, yeah. It comes from that yeah and they don't give it yeah i see what you mean because i mean i know solo was a was kind of you know took that hit from the trilogy because it was so bad that right exactly really, yes I mean, they see solo. exactly yes that yeah and that's kind of my thing is like not everything that's solo new was actually bad. pretty good i thought yeah, i thought you know, solo was pretty decent movie, so yeah I wanted, it was better than the tri- <laughs> actually better than the trilogy no I, for I sure was- no absolutely <laughs> i wouldn't even say that's a question i still don't think it was necessarily like the best um like star wars thing you know what i mean but it didn't I still need like to rogue be. one rogue's uh, is a really great story to yeah. me at least i think rogue um, one was one of the best parts of the new releases like one let's be honest rogue one was a and we've i think we've talked about it before but rogue, rogue one was a fix for all of yeah. the problems in the original trilogy Which basically really like good. <laughs> yeah it did really well and honestly i th- i wouldn't be surprised to get a rogue one for the prequels or the sequels like a similar fix up for all this stuff and they did the same kind of things in like the cart like not the, the exact same things but similar things in like the the cartoons and tv shows and everything right up into that point with like clone wars they had kind of like well how does yeah. and it can really just right, become right. vader well that's more than just that one yeah, scene there's, right there's this whole path and yeah yeah that's i mean that's cool that they did that too i mean with john Farrow. actually yeah, that says something let me let me show you something really quick <laughs> let's see uh we won't get a second post on this one that's for sure but what we can do is keep posting it to groups Sorry, I don't mean to say John Forover. I meant to say uh, Dave Fillion with this Clone Wars stuff. Yes, sorry, Dave Um, Fillion. Uh, But we're just uh, used to John Favreau doing all the right good Star (laughs) Wars. So Star Wars, uh, Hasbro did a special action figure for him, and uh, there he is. There he is as the uh, Trapper Wolf. Trapper. And this was just. So this is just uh, an exclusive that they did for Hasbro Con a couple, I think it was last week for October. No, it was about two okay. weeks ago, I think, actually. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, there's his uh, official figure. I mean, let's see now. I kind of lost yeah, it. Yeah, it's weird. It it, there you go. Yeah, no, I, it doesn't like there it being go. close for some reason. I don't know why. So, yeah, there, yeah no, that means comes as a cool gun. Comes, it looks like pretty good likeness well, of uh, and- Dave. People are like, where's the, where's the cowboy hat? <laughs> but he gets yeah. just the trapper wolf kind of insignia on yeah, his... Uh, yeah helmet and stuff but yeah i thought sense. that was really cool that they uh they, they included them in actually they were actually doing a george lucas figure actually for may the fourth and he's uh dressed up as a stormtrooper that is <laughs> funny i will say that's something that's i think a big part of like 
Star Wars history is action figures, and the fact oh, that definitely. like they, they, I feel like the action figure market really kind of started kicking off with Star Wars, and like yeah, you should definitely check out Star the uh, Toys That Made Us uh, documentary. I, on yeah, Netflix. I still there's gotta a, go check it out. Really it's on my list. Cool I might Wars actually have some there. time soon because I'm gonna be doing a lot of like non-sound awesome. editing so i'll need something yeah. to listen to in the background to keep me from yeah going crazy. it's um really crazy what the story of star wars stuff because they uh were trying to market to toys and they like went to every toy company and it was if the thing is it was kind of last minute too yeah no um, i mean it wasn't like star we and, think of star wars as being this like giant huge like mulk you know but originally it was just another movie yeah not a lot of people were given the hope um that it was going to be a great success and um i know yeah like i said the toys were one of them and uh, a lot of toy companies had passed and i think it was kenner finally picked up the the you know let's, let's just go ahead and take the the chance on it and uh yeah ended up making them a big uh, toy company in mm -hmm. the end too i mean they're no longer around either because i think uh kenner got bought up by hasbro i'm pretty sure i can't remember how that you'd have to look into that but <laughs> anyways kenner what ended up being one of the big toy uh big toy companies uh, through probably the 70s, I want to say, all the way to maybe the 90s or 80s, um, until they, like I said, they got bought out. But other than that, I mean, they were a huge, huge company because of Star Wars. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, and then, <laughs> you should, like I said, gotta watch, I have to watch again too, because there's so many, like, little, uh, tidbits that are just really cool to learn, like, how things happen. Oh, and then, like, even the Boba Fett, uh, action figure that they were gonna do, um, they had to change the jetpack because it had uh, shot a projectile right on his, ba his back, like the mm -hmm. missile does. And uh, right before they were going to come out that toy, there was a, an accident. Um, and I can't remember what toy it was. Um, they say what toy it was, but they, somebody had choked a kid. And I, th I don't know if he died. I or shouldn't what laugh it was. at that, but it's one of those ones where it's just like it's always a kid choking on a plastic piece. No, they so they ended up having the scrap, and then I, they I think they put a law in place that there could be no kind of like these small type, yeah. So, pieces, yeah, which there yeah, really so should be for kids. And there there ended up being these like really high end like uh, th that sold on eBay uh, prototype uh, Bobo Fets that did the projectile still on them um, that sold for a ridiculous amount of money. But oh, yeah, I mean, I mean it's really do. cool. Like I said, it's really cool just to you know learn yeah, those the history. Things, but... Like I said, I had read a book that was similar where it used it was not like our childhood toys it was like the childhood toys of our parents so things like legos yeah or, I well i guess legos would still be there but no like i'm yeah, talking legos like kind of us yeah but uh but that, I'm there's talking even like legos Seesaw one episode on there too yeah. that, that one's also very uh yeah they got a whole uh, big learn about. dutch history or whatever <laughs> yeah definitely remember. yeah um, but uh yeah other than that like yeah it's it's cool just to learn all these little things for like said of our parents history or even just any toy history is really awesome Absolutely, too i think yeah. i think it's i think it's a great chance to like i don't know i, I like trivia like i'm not yeah, the biggest yeah. guy but i think it, it adds value and it's kind of just quirky things that make you feel more connected yeah. um I like those things like, you know, like, um, yes, like you said, like uh, the same thing where why did they do Hulk Gray in the beginning? Well, yes. Yeah. I heard because there was a printing issue and because they cost more to kind of do this greenish kind of color Stan was going for. They just ended up going with the gray. <laughs> yeah. But really yeah, no, those are really those are really cool. Like, yeah, like I said, just real cool things like that. And um, how like even to the Fantastic Four were created because of Stan's wife, he had uh, said it was a big influence on him. Um, he had wrote, uh, was writing up a story, and she just kept, you know, saying, you know, go ahead and do it, go ahead and do, it. you know, it's your final story, go and do something really big, and and he did, uh, did the yeah, Fantastic Four, did Spider Man, yeah, so it's really cool just to learn that she was even a big part in all his influence as well. <laughs> yeah, and just things like that are really interesting, um, like I said, trivia, and just to let you, I don't know, get connected with those kinds of materials, and feels like you, I don't know, I, I guess are familiar. And, not, and it's not like a knowledgeable kind of like a know-it-all thing, but more of a like comforting knowledge of like, oh, well, that's yeah. good to know. You yeah. know what I mean? Or yeah. like cool to know. Yeah, definitely. No, yeah, those are, um, yeah. But let's see what else. We had Boba Fett it's and good, really... Uh, conversation starters, I guess you could say. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> or not conversation, but like, you know, conversation goers or keepers. I think they're or... even conversation... <laughs> I could say conversation starters because you could just go up to someone, you know what I mean? First, like, you know, just like, hey, I'm Paul. Hey, Paul, nice. And, you know, chill and do nothing. It's like, hey, do you... Like comics, yeah. Oh well, did you know? You know, <laughs> icebreaker kind of information. Like, yeah, did you know this? I don't know. I'm. Uh, 
I don't know. Yeah, it's it's crazy stuff. Um, you know, I've really gotten into Squid Game a lot. I, oh, uh, did you get heard. into it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I was one of those one of those guys. I was actually gonna even do a Halloween costume this year you're, with it. You're gonna I was all prepared. You're gonna freak but, uh, or not freak out about it, but you're gonna laugh. So I, you know me, I try to stay in the. Oh me, yeah, definitely everything. Um, I got an invite from um this group I work with to help them like coordinate a Squid's Game event. So, oh like, really? Yeah, okay. yeah. Like well, and and obviously not a real. No, 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 no. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah, 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 some yeah. people doing this everywhere now, yeah. No, absolutely, uh, and it was a great, it's, it's funny that it hadn't been done before, cause, well, it, and it kind of had, you know what I mean, there had been ideas, but the difference was the kind of competition portion as opposed to, like, an escape room or, right, because it really isn't yeah. all that different than any game or riddle or puzzle thing, um, except for the fact of, like, winning a bunch of money and then that kind of, like, horror theme, right, which is the point. Yeah. And then um, I guess, too, they're kind of like old school elementary games. I mean, like things yeah. that we used to play with the players. Yeah, it's, yeah, or, absolutely. Although, obviously, the Squid Games ones are Korean. The ones I, yeah, right, Korean. But the ones I think of to mind, like, would be like those ones. Remember, we used to have the parachute thing where you go into the. Yeah, uh, there, there were a <laughs> bunch of them that for like kids, especially kids our age. And even things like the old games you'd play on like monkey bars or something right like yeah. have to swing this uh red rover is another good example i think that would work for like a squid game type thing where it's like team based and motivated by that horror thing where like i can imagine that in the game where they're like no no i have to get through the wall no bang <laughs> <laughs> no i'm glad you checked it out um like i said i i enjoyed it i think it was really good um Probably. He said he's not doing a second season, which I think is I think it's good. good. I mean, yeah, I, think I don't really think exactly. we need to really go with the second season because we all kind of know, you know, he's like, I got, you know, he's got to go stop these people. And he's probably going to get it done the way he was acting very determined about it. Towards the, like said, especially we'll not going to go see his daughter, you know. And then Yeah, that was, that, like I said, there was a lot of interesting things about it. I think that for me, the weakest portion of the whole thing was the ending. Uh... Just in this, especially in the sense that, like, it kind of left it at this, like, weird meandering point for him. Mm -hmm. uh, where until he gets recontacted by. You know, we've got to be careful about spoilers. Yeah, I, yeah, I got to be. Yeah, then that's it. That's the thing. Like, you know, like. Yeah. Bro, they're, they're still even watching you now, even after you're out of the game. And it's just like. Well, I mean, to be fair. Feel, that's I not mean, like... I guess, does he feel, you know, I guess at that point, do you feel still safe to go and spend all this money? Even. Because they're always going to be watching for the rest of your life after yeah, you've won this absolutely. money still. And, and they had, uh, had been before. They would want to, right? Because I want to make sure this and the only thing I could, gonna... The only thing I could think of as I was going through it, because I was like, man, I, I just can't imagine. And thank God they fixed it by the end, but with the whole wealthy donor run. Because, like, going through it and looking at it, I'm like, man, this is not one of those, like, uh, I don't know if you'd seen them, but there's, uh, what was it? It was, like, Escape. I don't know. It was one of the new escape room oh, movies. Oh, the escape room movies. Yeah, so you talking about those? Yeah, it was a pretty decent one though. I actually didn't mind this one too badly. Yeah, I heard they were not too bad. Yeah, I mean the first no, one I actually heard was decently. Well, there's you there's know, a pretty... ton of them. Like that's the problem is like there are like different franchises of that. Es like it's not even like oh, okay. oh escape room. No, like there's there's escape and escape room franchise and then the escape room. I'm that's not the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Well, there's just so many. Franchise. Yeah. There's yeah, just the, new, but the oh, newest God. one. Yeah, I was gonna check it out too, but uh, so I, you said it was pretty good. Well, I don't bad. even like I said I can't remember which one this was or what franchise it was from. I just remember that it reminded me of it because it was, uh, it was a trick. It wasn't real, right? It was a fake death escape room thing right like they were faking oh, okay. it the whole time and like i said that's why i'm all right kind of giving the ending it ish uh -huh. is like no one knows the it's title like escape room tournament of champions maybe maybe that maybe. was it oh you know what maybe that was it escape room tournament of champions maybe well, the sequel to one that they had done right before this one no this they, like... i don't think this one didn't feel like a sequel but maybe let no. me look let me look at it um no, see, I've seen this one, which is also pretty decent, actually. And I saw okay. the first one. I didn't see the new one, the Tournament of Champions, but I saw the first one where she's, like, yeah. fakes or whatever. Like I said, try not to give away too much of the plots in these because some of them aren't super old. Like, a lot of these are realistically, like, a year or two old max. Yeah, this one, the Tournament Champ just came that out. That one's brand new, actually... but, but even the old one was only, like, what, 2020, 2019 or something? So, it's like... Not that old, yeah, I'm going to say that, yeah, 2019... 
Um, BT Media. But uh, yeah, so this, the one I was watching wasn't part of this franchise. I can't remember what it was or which one it was, but it was funny because it was kind of like faked and it had this whole drama cycle. Oh, okay. It, it was okay. cool. I see. It was a very nice um, one. It was a good twist. Yeah, I, uh, I got, like I said, I got so into it that I, uh, I bought some, I'm buying Funko Pops now. Oh, okay. I feel like that's pretty cool. I, I, I like, like, I'm not blaming you because my cousin, like I saw him post, he's like, I want to get all the Squid Game guys masks and just like put them up on the wall. And I was like, I even seen some uh, couple kids dressed up as the oh, yeah. mask, pink mask. Although they've already, already you know. been banning the uh, costume in schools, which you know, I think honestly, that one's okay. I will say I it's kind of not really. Ma- ma- That's really not a kid's not made costume. For the kids. Let's no, be honest. Definitely not. It, it's it's even beyond for me the Michael and Jason stuff because the Michael and Jason stuff is so much more fictional than the Squid it's, Game shit. Yeah, and, and that's for, just, I think that one's more, I don't know. Yeah, yeah and, I for know people, mean, yeah. and for the people out there who are like, oh, the Squid Games could never, would never, yeah, maybe not the exact Squid Games, but people have been playing Russian Roulette for like 200 years or some shit. People are absolutely willing to get themselves killed to make money. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, like I said, yeah, it's just, not, it's definitely just a more adult theme kind yeah, of show for sure for absolutely. the kids. Um, it's just too not for the kids. <laughs> not for the kids, is what I mean. Uh, not so for the kids, yeah. They, yeah. they uh, <laughs> definitely, sh- I wouldn't let Isaiah watch it, so. Maybe no, I don't think it's old. 15? Yeah, yeah. 15, yeah. 15, I think, I, age, you just but... need to be a certain age to have an understanding of the moralistic, like, intro. Because, like, kids aren't really going to understand, like, you know. These, yeah, they're just going to see these, people these playing, play, like, playing games yeah, for like money. Said, and, that's yeah. all they're going to see, really, and then they're going to die. They're not really caring for, like, all oh, these people are more because they're 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 they're, they're, in, they're so in debt that they will do anything at this point yeah and then they left and they were like well it's more it's, shittier out here than it was yeah my life here. i'm gonna which for some of them realistically a lot of them <laughs> yeah, are probably gonna yeah, die anyway yeah. i mean yeah. obviously we know so. the trick for the one dude but you know say you did have a inoperable brain tumor or whatever i knew plenty of people who right. did and would Might as well at least make die some, for your make some money shit <laughs> but i think his so, yeah there was a bunch it was good I, I like i said i thought it was really good i'd probably give it a solid like nine out of ten um, yeah like i said there's there's a couple like things but then things. like my some of my some of my family like were watching the first episode and didn't like it because it just you know, the it first is, episode it has is that slow. korean kind of flavor to it which it's not as a, which is what i'm okay with because i'm used to watching it, anime and I, yeah, i'm used to their kind of comment i don't even think it's that bit. i think it's two parts because like yeah the koreanness it's always two parts and i only know because like i've heard people verbally like push them out one subtitles people's well, that yeah, it's and you could and yeah. you could watch. In and English. I watched it all in dub. I, I, yeah, yeah, fine. you can. It's, there are a couple parts that are a bit crazy, but that's not really surprising. And there are parts that are crazy. I mean, as long the, as it's not you know changing the whole oh, you know, like I, plot of what everything's yeah, kind of going on. I, it and, doesn't change the plot, but man, some of those translations are actually so awful on like meaning. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like getting the meaning of someone's words across. They get the plot still, but it's like. They'll say something well, very like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, powerful, and the, the, then we'll just. Well, then I even heard too, yeah, that the there were some Korean translators also saying that the subtitles were also not the best. Yeah, they're a little, part. they're a little rough. Um, and so, I, only know I mean, it's. Pa- I guess the only best way you could watch is if yeah you. Learn Korean, Korean yeah. <laughs> but even that's the bit. but other than that, I mean, I guess Americans enjoyed it still as what it was, and that's I guess as long as I guess hopefully the director approved and said yeah, yeah. as long as I get the gist of what's going on. Well, I'm and okay. that's the <laughs> thing, I, the the titles, and that's what I mean is like I think that the while the plot doesn't change, like that's the thing that none of those subtitles or the English translations are going to be like oh well they said to let him live and not kill him or something like that no it's more like losing like depth of meaning you know what I mean or intricate uh, flowery languages and even to the point where like you can tell that it's it's probably done pretty well because like some of it's done in English like the front man just speaks English in the original yeah, that's what I've heard yes that the I watched uh, yeah, in Korean the guys just, are all uh all english speakers in that one <laughs> but uh yeah i mean well even beyond that like the actual guy with the black mask speaks english oh yeah he oh he does okay he is speaking english it, he's, in you okay. can tell he's korean speaking english yeah, with an accent okay. but he speaks but english speaks and english. it's okay. well Which easily understandable he is talking to the other vip yeah, members speaking, right, who are yeah. also speaking yep. english yep. as well every so. time he talks he's on the phone with them or uh, the the only time he speaks in Korean is the one time when they're in the courtyard, 
uh, with his brother, maybe. <laughs> Does not he? even there no he probably does there too actually it's a little bit rough to remember because like i just kind of turned my brain off and like for me reading right. it and watching it same thing no yeah i've we I, you know like i said we've done it for so long at this point that for me i don't miss i don't miss scene details doesn't take away from the story for me anymore you know back in the day 10 years ago sure but yeah we've exactly been, yeah uh, but uh, yeah, that's what that's kind of hearing from some people or my family is like they, that. And like you said, I guess probably yeah, the the, the um, subtitles reading or if they want to watch uh, it in dub. But just the kind of the Koreanness of it, because like I said, there's the part where like the guys really just slapping it for this game and that. The, the, I don't know. I guess you, to me, I guess you. I don't know. For wouldn't. fifty thousand, would you 000? see that? Would you see that in an American film though, like or TV yeah, show? Yeah, dude, all the time. Yeah, I can true. think of. I can think of tons of of like probably like not like right off, but like I, in my head, I feel there are some very like one to one examples of like, and not even like a chance, but like people actually like even pay me five dollars and slap me. <laughs> Come on, I think that's a straight quote from some movie. <laughs> Or uh, you hit me, you owe me five dollars. That I know that's a quote from a Futurama fucking uh, episode. So like uh, it's so it's that's it, it, some of it. Yeah. But I I do see the the one the game right the game itself could just throw you off because you have no idea what he's really yeah. even doing. You, you know he wants to flip it over, but you don't know what he has to do. Because like even my dad was like saying that he's like, well I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I was that trying to. I was well. trying to figure out the game too, because I was like, "Wait, what is he trying?" Oh, I, but uh, <laughs> I figured it out after they kind of talked about it a bit. But yeah, uh, well, once again, I was watching in. Uh, oh right, and it's hard to yeah, kind of go in and look. Hold on. Well, okay, well, no, it was actually easier because I think the subtitles had a better explanation, so they kind of like gave it oh, in the subtitles okay, of like. Okay. So you've got to get mine over. I think that was one of the things that was in the subtitles okay. was like oh, over. Oh, okay. So I was like, well, maybe he's got to like flip it over or knock it over or some shit. Plus, there was only so many things you could do to it. Right. At, at the end. But like, it took a second still. Like, it wasn't right away. And I could definitely see how like it could be super confusing exactly what was going on. Because I didn't know what the f was going on at first. Um, but I did. I did really like the actors. I thought oh, they yeah. did such a great job. Um, you know, I, I was uh, reading up even little tidbits about that show and stuff. I, I guess the director, because he is the director slash creator. He did everything. He wrote each mm -hmm. episode. Yeah. He did it's, the directing it's his, each episode. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, funny it took too, even ten years for him to even get this made because nobody wanted to do it for him. They kept saying this is not going to work. It's dumb. And yeah. then Netflix finally gave the chance. Okay, yeah, I guess let's do this. Which and is so funny because usually they're known for just giving anybody a chance. Yeah, they exactly. They Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm sorry. I like them, but come on, let's be honest. I'm it's not that. My favorite. <laughs> I'm not. I, I, they're fine. I think they're funny. Let's just. But they're not like high quality fucking. Oh, no, 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 no. You know Definitely what I mean? Not. But if you know you're gonna give them like a they, chance, yeah. They did improve though from first oh, season. Oh yeah, to no, the the, they're, and, uh, and that's why I was like. You know that and that's kind of it's also kind of my point is like if you're you know you give questionable shows chances and they do well all right th th this, this seemed to be a knock out of the park even conceptually yeah they're yeah they're saying it's one of their best shows they've i think ever, it's i think you know, it's top selling obviously it's just they're, everyone saying, they're saying it is yeah um i mean that you know netflix is saying it's one of their best, top rated shows they've ever even bigger than even stranger things which was huge when mm -hmm. that came out even well and it's just um, going to keep getting bigger like people are like oh well, and yes it is yeah, but it's the next gonna start, yeah, the it's next hit more series people, yeah. will be even bigger because netflix is going to grow bigger for mm -hmm. two reasons. One, streaming is still growing. And two, our population is constantly growing. So I'm not as impressed. I, I'd never get impressed now with like new numbers of like, we hit a billion tickets sold or we hit a, right, like this many whatever sold. Because relatively speaking, those numbers go up automatically um, mm -hmm. with the number of population out there. So let's, let's just say, for example, like you sell a comic book, right? And roughly 10% of the population likes your comic book and buys it regularly. So, you know, last year there were 20 million people. That means you get, you know, however many million. Next year there's 30 million people. You automatically get more sales because there's more people and roughly 10% of people like your comic book. So, like, I'm, I'm always questioning for me, like, all right, yes, this many people watched it. How many proportional numbers of like total Netflix users watched it, or comparative numbers? You know what I mean. 
Yeah, no, they were saying, I don't know, like, I have to look it up again. It was like 100 million households. So that, But that was like four or five weeks ago when they were saying. Oh, uh, and I'm sure like, it's still top. I mean, it's great. I'm not like criticizing yeah, it's still it. On the, still, uh, is it saying it's still on their number two list still even right yeah, now? Yeah, I haven't looked uh, now, but it was there last week as well. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, um, yeah, no, uh, it, it's, it got really, really big, really quick. That's for sure. Because mm-hmm. I remember I'd seen it, I think, in September. September, the beginning kind of the beginning month and i was gonna even check it out then because reading the the kind of synopsis of it that, it did kind of even sound interesting to me so i, I kind of was gonna check it out but then what finally pushed me over the edge is like i finally seen everyone talking about it. i was like well really was it that great i guess i better finally watch it <laughs> and see and you know me i try not to hype things because i think that's the absolute worst thing to do for a good show is over hype it um which is why i told you i really enjoyed it the reason i didn't watch squid games is because i knew exactly what it was about um from like for after like two seconds of kind of looking at information i knew exactly what it was going to be because i read a ton of like battle royale stuff and like the manga in this very specific genre of like horror death games i could name you like three or four manga that do this this kind of exact same concept basically or a very very similar version of it um which is no offense to squid games but like I was kind of like, is it gonna be that much different or better, or good? You know what I mean? Like, how are they gonna do on it? I think was my big thing because the only thing that's relatively I can think of in my head super similar, off the top of my head is like Battle Royale, the old Ed Japanese movie. Um, mm-hmm. There are other things that are, but like th- that's like one of the very specifics. Uh, but after I think a couple of the people I watched streaming and then a couple of people I know watched it and they were like, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I decided to go for it. I also will, I gotta put like a disclaimer in my thing that I watched Squid Game, but I probably watched it at like double speed, triple speed maybe, because I skip past anything I think is boring. So like long drawn out emotional music shit that doesn't feel like it's actually building tension for me. Bam, 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 bam. (laughs) Um, So I couldn't give a, like, I don't want to give like a regular viewers guide. However, I feel like I'm, I do that all the time. So I'm pretty good at gauging the, the score of a movie, even considering that. And I think it's really good. Like, I think that stuff, the only, the, my only issue with it, I, that I would postulate, uh, that took it away from being a little higher score for me, like nine, nine or whatever, because I never score anything at 10, um, would be the beginning and the ending. Um, the ending for me is a little like blase. It's cool and the reveal's fine, but like a lot of the stuff that it pushes after that either pulls away from what I thought was a really well formed, sensible plot. Uh, as well as like just some kind of like ridiculous things of like um, hypocrit- hypocriticalness from like the main characters where they're like well I wanted to do this or my ideals are this but my actions don't back up my ideals but I'm not sure if that was intentional so the characters and then the beginning I think the beginning is just a little bit slow I know that it's purposeful because you really need to make people hate that main character for that first episode. Like, yeah. by the first <laughs> end of the first episode, you're like, man, this guy's a real piece of shit. And I, and I kind of right. hope he dies. Until... I did. Until yeah, you watch the second episode. And then he's like, ah, like, oh, shit, I don't want him to actually die. I was kind of <laughs> being facetious, man. Maybe I don't want him. He's like, oh, fuck. And I think that's the point, is to kind of, like, pull you back and say, well, you you know, he's a piece of shit and you want him to die, but do you really want him to die? Are you really... And obviously some people probably do, but, you know, any generally decent human being would hopefully have a little... a modicum of sympathy for someone who's not a total piece of shit. And granted, he was pretty close. He was pretty close to a total piece of shit. But he had a couple redeeming qualities in that first episode. Later, he's fine, but in the very first episode, I mean, they go out of the way, they make him steal money from his mother, they, you know what I mean? All kinds of shit. Right, right. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, like I said, I, I hope that's kind of, not the la- not to be mean, but like, say that's the last we see a screw game, but I feel like that that's kind of, you know, good. Yeah. We don't need a, we don't nope, need an we don't American need a second version. Season. We're gonna get uh, one. Yeah. No, we're getting one. No, sorry. No. Uh, much as that's nice. I can't go with that, but I don't think we'll get anything from the director. 
unless oh, he no. unless he does the crop thing which some directors do is it sell the title thinking that it'll be okay yeah. but if he does that yeah. then someone else will make something that doesn't match his vision it'll probably Definitely. be low quality yeah or or I, at least different Right. Yeah. Well, well um, man, I, I, like I said, I have heard that he said he was definitely not doing the second season. That was it was a one and done kind of thing. And yeah. Um, and then I guess, like I said, the the ending's kind of up to your interpretation of what he's going to, you know, go from there. Um, but which are those are OK endings. You know, yeah. that's always the hardest thing to do about anything well, is, the, the, is, is always an end. Like I, that's even when I was watching some uh, video documentaries yeah, and they always talk writing. about like is that it's it's always the that's the last thing that they always want to don't want to get to here's the funniest part like, too how do we end this stuff <laughs> it, and, and it's the funniest part to me too because this is absolutely a huge problem in every form of writing storytelling etc is endings uh and there's a couple reasons the big reason that it's so hard is that in real life stories don't end ever right right like even if everybody died the story doesn't end the story just right. continues as nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened, everyone's dead, nothing happened for eternity. Um, right? Like, because you could just, that could be the explanation of what's happening. It's just a shitty explanation. It doesn't, right? And so what's always funny to me is, and I I, I say this with like a slight grain of salt, but it's my heavy belief that the, the ending is probably the least important part of your story. <laughs> Because if you told a really good story all the way to the end and kind of botched it, it doesn't matter. The a lot of the like if if you fuck it all up and re and like shit on the first half of your story, that's different. But if you write a really good story, right, like one to nine, and then the last episode is just an episode. Not great, not amazing, not world ending but not shitting on everything you did from one to nine, right? Not not breaking your story patterns, plots, making your characters do out of character things, uh, killing fan favorites. Like there's a big list of ways to just totally shit on the first half of your story. But if you avoid those, you could really always just, you can go with almost any ending you want. You could go with the everyone dies ending and it's a sad story. You go with the everyone lives happily ever after ending and it's a happy story. And then everything in between that is kind of like a mix or a medium of those two kind of fantasy endings. Because once again, in reality, the story just doesn't end. So, yeah, right. Because <laughs> even for Squid Game, right? Like however you interpret it, whatever you want to, whether you interpret it as he wins, right? And beats right. them or he dies or it doesn't matter. Because the story was the Squid Game not what he did after the squid game the story technically finished when he finished right like his his part in it at least now we are hinted that he's going to do stuff later right and kind of like opening up for maybe a second season and imagining more story but that's another story that's not this story in unless they can he continues it right like i don't know it's it's weird stuff like that um but yeah so um other than that, I mean, uh, that's kind of, that's all I really have to say about Squid Game because it's just been such a crazy uh, uh, thing I just had to bring up because yeah. it's just been talked about for the last well, couple of weeks. And, and it's, been, I, uh, it's so pervasive. Like, it's one of those things that popped off everywhere. Like, and I think maybe because it's so memeable and so, like, culturally relatable, but, like, it's in video games, it's in pop culture, music videos and shit. You know what I mean? Like, everybody jumped onto that because, like, You've already got like the new video game crab game. I don't know if you've seen any of the. Crab yeah, I've games seen that. I've seen a couple of those already but coming up even there. Even beyond um, that, oh my god, so many people have been doing parodies in their games. Like I've seen some of the GTA stuff parodying Squid Games. Um, Fortnite. Fortnite doing Squid Game. Um, They're just so much, so much. It's it's yeah. it's, it's absolutely <laughs> a thing. You know what I mean? Not being too critical, but I do think that that happens whenever something pops off on Netflix, because some somewhat similarly kind of Stranger Things did that. And uh, definitely, Rick, yeah. And, well, maybe, um, and not just Netflix. So I was, I was, I was a Stranger Things fan as soon as the intro popped up. <laughs> as soon as I heard that, oh. that music kind of eighties horror music sound stuff, I was like, 
Sign me up for all the season. <laughs> if you guys are going like this style, I already feel, I already kind of feel like uh, I already know what you guys are doing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I um, I was just a huge Stranger Things fan since the get go, just because uh, yeah, like I said, that music just got me. And then uh, Squid Games, I just uh, yeah, after the end of it, it just was really, I just like say it was a good good show. Of just people will do anything to make a buck, and it is sometimes true. <laughs> Yes. Um, you know, yes, yes. money does uh, does uh, do a lot of talking sometimes, like they say. But uh, other than that, I think we can kind of move over for Squid Games. A oh, I actually did want to say one last thing. Um, <laughs> the director had said he had, I guess, lost his teeth even creating this this uh, show. He was so he was so stressed. <laughs> Dude, what? Um, I mean, you have to I look it up. It, you have like, to see. You have to see. I don't know how real this much. was. But look, yeah, look it up. Um, supposedly, he was saying, yeah, he uh, lost a few teeth. But <laughs> like, I guess he couldn't smoke weed and de-stress wherever he lives. So <laughs> I gave him it. But, but yeah, that's too much. Uh, let's see. I had did have some other things here on my list here. So I know we did talk a little bit about Bubble Fett, which um, we're all excited for. Which cool December, I think 20, 29th. Uh, release date for that. So I'm excited for that. God, everything's um, popping off in December and January, bro. I yes. You know what? I did not know this was a thing that was actually happening, but we're getting a new Jeepers Creepers mm -hmm. uh, movie, which is called Jeepers Creepers Reborn, which I am okay with because it looks like um, Victor Salva is uh, not going to be uh, attached to this film at all, uh, which I know that's kind of why the third one fell off, was, yeah. you know, yeah, fell off because of the past uh, stuff of, uh, going on with him and uh, yeah, so other than that, I am excited for that. They showed us a teaser trailer. Didn't really get to see the new Jeeper Creeper kind of monster. I mean, we kind of really expect it, but we'll see if they update him in some way of some form. Um, so yeah. we'll see. Uh, definitely a different feel. You can tell just by watching the trailer. It feels more... I don't know. just feels like... This feels different to me. It doesn't feel like, because I guess, like I said, not the same director, um, but definitely going to be its own little thing. So check out the teaser trailer if you guys want to. It should be online everywhere, I think, now. But the Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Um, oh, this is a big one. Um, I didn't really uh, see this one till today, but yesterday there was a teaser trailer, and it wasn't really a te uh, like a trailer. You know how they say they do teaser trailers and they're basically showing us a trailer. Yeah. <laughs> this one is truly a teaser trailer. Okay. It was uh they all they showed us was the black candle being lit for Hocus Pocus 2. Oh. And uh that will actually be coming next year coming fall 2022. Okay. Um and we will be getting uh, all our uh original witches so Betty Milder, Sarah Jessica Parker and Kathy uh Najima. So huh? I thought we were like missing one. At one point, right? uh, no, they, yeah, they got all three of them. They sh uh, they will all be returning. I okay. don't know. Oh, actually, let's see here. Joining the cast are Whitney Peak, uh, Lilia Buckingham, uh, Belissa Escobedo. Sorry, I'm butchering these names. I'm always bad with names. Doug Jones, uh, Just Tom. Pronounce them in Spanish. Tony the Hall. Easiest <laughs> Sam Richardson and Hannah Waddingham, uh, Juju Briner, and Fro. Yo, there's a couple of people in here. So this is gonna be, huh? Oh, I mean, not it's, a very it's a, small cast of. No, uh, it's not gonna be, I, I guess, yeah. like the three you know kids that we were expecting. It's gonna be a. I don't know. I'm curious well, to see what this new plot's gonna be. The original movie had more than just those kids. It's just those were the, the big actors main, yeah, main, yeah main actors yeah and this um, uh, um this one's but definitely yeah i'm gonna uh, have curious how what they're gonna do with this yeah. story uh, i don't think they said the original actors were coming back because i i heard even from them they had said they weren't even asked which kind of this is a little bit of a let uh, it would be nice to see a cameo at least but yeah cameos well. would be nice i wouldn't expect to like see them thrown in because ideally Right, the, what you would do is you'd write it's like it some as type the of return. Move the, the move the the story forward, like because they right, had, you know years. they tell a story of like, well, hey, we messed with them or. <laughs> well, you would what you would the best way because from what I remember, Hocus Pocus was a recurring thing, like the the witches had been gone and then were summoned back, right? Like so, there was no reason. Yeah, they, to uh, yeah, they were. What happened? Yeah, they. Uh, God, all right, look, we're gonna, do, we're gonna do. We're gonna. We're gonna. I just I watched it. yesterday too, but they. Um, it just doesn't have a very strong chat. opening. No, yeah, they were yeah. casted away by the uh, original Binks. Actually, was the boy's name, yeah, and was, they uh, yeah. they got casted away because of that. And then um, I don't think they were able to finish the spell because they were supposed they uh, if they don't they you know have to uh, they're you uh, they're I guess uh, what would you call it the 
the fountain of youth <laughs> right. they sucked the children's soul uh were they weren't in time for that so they kind of missed their mark on that and then like you said they came back because the black lit candle got lit uh from um one of the main uh, actors i can't remember even his name in the in the movie but uh, and then yeah like i said that's how they were they came uh, back yeah so here here was what it was and like i said I, I only knew because i remember that that was the only real weak part of that movie is the original explanation of how the witches come back because it's really rushed it's just like boom the here's the backstory the witches are back and then it goes straight into them being witches which is great i mean there is a whole scene but it's it's more scene than explanation you know what i mean which is yeah. it's a funny thing because that's that's following this the the storytelling medium of show don't tell which is a fun medium but realistically actually less effective than telling <laughs> showing as opposed to telling is less explanatory but so what it was was um and i knew why because it's the candle uh, yeah, they uh, they whenever, had, there was a little if, story that the uh, yeah because they actually do with, a, they so do what the it story is, is when they're in the, the school yeah they like and, like and they said, have to be a virgin to mm -hmm. like if you're yep. then you but can remember light the it's black. like this thirty second explanation of like yeah if any virgin yeah. lights this black candle on All Hallows Eve they'll resurrect the witches but it wasn't done like that specifically right. it was done in pieces and chops and and that's why when uh, Thackeray which is the there you go. That was his name, Zach. Uh, okay. Uh, he guards the um, things forever, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, no. And so they could all they, a, a cat. <laughs> yeah. So all they need to do is have it be twenty years later, and a new group of kids does the black handle. Yeah. Yeah, they could do that. And, um, but I'm not remembering. We'll see the if end they go the it. same kind of plot route. But I don't know. Well, I'm, uh, they haven't really said too much, really. Yeah, that don't because we don't even know if gonna... we're getting a second, like a sequel, or just a remake. I mean, it says oh, it's Hocus. a sequel. Yeah, oh, they, they're yeah, saying it's, it's a sequel. Pocus. Yeah, it's, it's Hocus it's, Pocus two. So yeah, yeah, okay. But um, it's supposed to get yeah, um, like I said, next fall we'll get it Disney Plus show cool. only. So it's not gonna, which is to be expected. I don't think the original Hocus Pocus was also another one that went to theaters. I think that was also like a Disney movie. I'm pretty sure. I I'm think not it sure. Yeah. Might have I, been, but but it was absolutely like, and that was what I was gonna say about it earlier. With when we were talking about the names, is even though it wasn't necessarily, I think like a big grossing movie. Uh, it was absolutely a cult, like not even a cult classic, oh. but it was immediate Halloween classic. Like everybody yeah. oh, loves it. Yeah. Nobody. I'm pretty um, sure everyone not watch. I watch it every. <laughs> yeah, I, I even actually heard somebody the, in the store the other day say, oh, I may be uh, 40 years old. I'm still going to oh, be watching shit. Hocus so, Pocus. All right. So <laughs> we were talking about fun facts. So here's one. The film was meant to be a made-for-TV Disney Channel original movie, but the producers uh -huh. felt it could stand as a major theatrical oh. release. Oh, okay. What shit? I mean... It, yeah, I mean, it could, definitely. And and here's a... So the film received mostly negative reviews from critics during its theatrical release, but has since become a cult film, which is fancy talk for saying the critics didn't like it, but everybody else did, so fuck them. Because, <laughs> once again, I can't think of a single person in my head who would say Hocus Pocus is bad. No, I mean, it's... I don't know a single person who would say And if they did, yeah. then they'd, they're not spending Halloween with me, that's for, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. No, 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 definitely. So, but yeah, I mean, I must, I'm super excited to see the three I'm same witches cool. back, and oh, uh, I mean, we'll we'll see what they got to tell us next year, coming fall. I'm expecting well, it to be a Halloween uh, film. But oh, we'll see. It's, it's, it, I don't think there's any doubt. If it's not, they're just wasting branding and money. That's they're, <laughs> well, they're not taking money on the table like that. That would that's like releasing a Michael Myers movie in the middle of the summer. Come on, right. You can do Jason Voorhees with that kind of, but not Mike. He's. Um, let's see here. I was going to go through a couple of my bigger lists here. So there was quite a few things that we uh, I know they haven't talked about. So Hit Monkey got its oh, trailer God, finally. I and it looks really good. Yeah, I'm super excited. We've talked about it. Hit Monkey is one of those characters we've talked about before because he's like a. I wouldn't even say a C or a B character. He's really just a side character mostly. Like, he's only had his own comic one time. He showed up in Deadpool, or... Where was he showed up in Deadpool, yeah, first. It was yeah. Deadpool, I, I think, is his first appearance. Yeah, is the one that speculators go, go for. Yeah, because he was hired to go kill Deadpool. I can't remember even by who. Um, 
or for what you know what i mean that's how minute but since then basically every single hit monkey appearance is golden like i can't think of a single hit monkey appearance that isn't just dope like that i would i would personally be happy buying the comic and owning it you know what i mean right uh, and reading it but um i'm super happy to hear it i also loved the uh animation style no no dissing on modok because i actually really ended up liking that a lot more than i thought i would uh, I did. I, I. It was exactly what I thought it was going to be. Just a, I got. A, I got a special part. Uh, place in my heart for stop motion. So I. I've always and, liked that animation and kind I, of style. And it did have some really good stop motion, which was absolutely. I think that's why I really. Because usually I'm not a big fan. Because I feel like, with a couple exceptions, stop motion is not done to perfection. Like there are good stop motion films, and then there are not good stop motion films, and. You, you can usually there's usually only like one company that makes the good stop motion film so yeah or two companies uh, but um th I, that one was done so well like honestly you it is stop motion but it's just so good like there's there's uh, a lot of them are cleaner than some regular animation honestly i think they probably just went with more shots per fucking frame to get smoother movement <laughs> And did really good uh, modeling. <laughs> um, I was looking up some Hit Monkey stuff, sir. So actually, okay. he started off in a one shot first. It really? was Hit Monkey, yeah, Hit Monkey one shot. It was just called Hit Monkey, um, and I it was actually the first appearance and his origin story in yeah. that issue. Well, I remember his origin um, story because of the sauna thing or whatever. But... Oh, and then this is okay. The Hit Monkey one shot actually went on sale one week before Deadpool number nineteen, is which one you're thinking of, yeah. uh, which is often confused as his first appearance. Um, yeah, so actually they're saying Deadpool number 19 is his second appearance. Um, but yeah, other than that, it looks like he supposedly started off in a one shot first. <laughs> I guess that makes um, sense. I do remember his origin story and I do remember that one shot. I just can't imagine what prompt would have prompted that. I don't understand why that would have happened that in that order. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> he wasn't made for anything and he was never really used heavily in anything. Like he didn't. No, no, it doesn't look like it. I'm, lo I'm looking at most of his uh, stuff, and honestly, that that... he's got honestly really nothing. You know, he's got you maybe... bet that the Deadpool appearance was supposed to be his first appearance, and they got delayed. It could have been in there something. Yeah, that could have happened something I, like I that. And then they would have led it. up into the one shot. Um, For him, because hey, hey, they wanted I mean, the, that, that's, that makes way more sense. I honestly, I, I bet dollars to donuts that that Deadpool issue was delayed. And that yeah, they that which, it was supposed to come out first. But then you know, in the speculator eyes, they're like, "Well, oh, it doesn't that matter." First, yeah, no, that <laughs> one's first. <laughs> but I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, I, and no, I'm not arguing that. Like, oh, yeah, went with I'm it, just but... speculating on the history because some of those things you can kind of look back and see. You know what I mean? It's it's that same kind of well, why did the Hulk change colors? Because printing was expensive. You know what I mean? You can explain some Definitely. of the some of the changes in characters and choices, etc., by the circumstances, and that makes sense to me because. I, like I said, I can't I can't think of one recently like that where they release a character's yeah. one shot prior to their feature. Right. Um, what else I was gonna pull up here? So there's the Hit Monkey couple. stuff. We the, got the Witcher. Oh, Neca's doing some really cool Ninja Turtle Universal monster characters. So they've done oh, nice. uh, Raphael as Frankenstein. They have Leonardo as the Igor character so far. Um, oh, we did get an Uncharted trailer finally, which I know this is in the works, but yeah, I saw um, that one. Yeah, we have uh, Tom Holland as the um, main character. I think his I name's think Nathan Drake. I've never yeah, actually played the I've, games, yeah, but me, they're always a either. fan favorite. Yeah, everyone loves them. Um, I've never played them. I've heard good things. Um, although I've also seen a lot of jokes about the. Um, I don't know if you've seen those on video game things where about they're like he's fixing his hand or whatever in that game. And it's got, like, really realistic, like, I don't know. Oh, does it? Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. Because, like I said, I've never right. played the game. I've only seen videos on it and, like, reviews right. and shit. And uh, they always, yeah, like, I know Gumball even did a uh, yeah, like, homage did to it. Like, everyone does that plane homage thing where he's, yeah. they, he falls off the plane and he's, like, jumping on all the stuff. And yeah, that one. It's kind of, I guess, it started from <laughs> it's Uncharted. I think it's taken from something else, but I think Uncharted made it popular. Because, yeah. I'm not going to lie, most of the movie shit that we think of is, like, the same for music is like was still taken from somewhere else and done a long time ago and just repackaged and made fancy and new for our our young brains but uh having said that it looks really good and i've heard super good things 
My only thing is, I just know people aren't happy that Tom Holland is not I is playing Nathan not either. because I think, he. I don't even he, know the main character, and he looks too young. Yeah, that's what I was saying. He does. He does look a little too young He's to play young. that role because he he looks like a guy that's in his almost probably mm. maybe 28, 30, 34. Dude, the, the dude in the show looks in his late twenties minimum. He's rocking a sh- like, and I don't even haven't even watched, but I'll I'll look it up right now. His one picture and just do Nathan Drake uncharted and i guarantee you he's got a five o'clock shadow he's got a fucking you know what i mean you so that's another thing too like he's he's got he's too baby face i'm sorry yeah well, i'm sorry tom leon you could play other characters really well but you I don't know, i'm sure he'll play the Nathan, character fine it's just bad pretty good i'm pretty sure i think it's just the appearance that's gonna yeah. really take people again, out of that, it that uh, people who played the game and they're like or you know gonna be like, eh, i, I, I think it this. could take you out of it even not having played the game he just looks too young for that kind of character at, at right, like, like an at, Indiana Jones like a, type of yeah, character. Yeah, at 20 something years old, on. what have you been through to be that kind of badass? Uh, you know what I mean? You you can only even join the military at 18 years old. You've had two, so you got two years of maybe military training, unless you were like some super ninja spy your whole life, being trained right. by your parents. And even then, I, guess we'll, you, I don't know. Yeah, I, well, I guess we'll just have to see if he saves I, it by just yeah, his acting chops, right? Because you absolutely can. <laughs> Once again, I and I, I, I try to remind people that when I'm complaining about these typecastings on here, and they're like, "You, you're an idiot." Anyway, they're such a great actor. And same for Pattinson. It's like he's such a great actor. I'm like, I'm sure he is. That's not what I said. I said he looks like he'd make a shitty Batman. And I think I'm right about that. He looks like he makes... Doesn't mean he will make a shitty Batman, but he looks like a shitty Batman. And he looks like an emo Bruce Wayne. <laughs> but, and same for this. He just looks baby face. Like, there's... I'm not insulting his acting ability. I'm saying the studio didn't typecast well. He does not look like the character he's he's playing. Right? Or... And, exactly, yeah. Yeah, and that's fine. That's, well, yeah, I guess we'll have to see what happens with that. When's that supposed to come out? They said that's February 18th is when like that's said, premiering. Sure and this do... one's only... I, f- I find this funny now that, that they have to label only this in some theaters, movies now. Yeah. Oh, it's, no, no, no. Exclusively. In theaters. <laughs> and movie theaters. They, they really are trying to save their dying industry, bro. They are trying so <laughs> fucking hard to save their dying industry. And it's, it's extinct, bro. It's, a, it's an animal that is going to die. I And I'm not... Being negative, it's a fine animal. It's a great beast. It lived its time and gave us plenty of entertainment. Uh, evolution states, right, like, it's going to go the way of the radio. It will be around. People will use it. But uh, it's going to go streaming. It's There's there's a jillion reasons why uh, that continually get bigger and bigger every every year. And uh, they're, they're trying to cling on it, though. They they fu- they just got they really got screwed because you probably cut five years off of the movie industry's life with COVID by right, right. by making people stay at home and realize that they can access all this streaming shit and get right all these movies they now yeah and I guess it all just really depends on these movie studios now because not really it depends on us I mean today that they they, they 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 have like people forget we're the the we have the control they don't get. If people stop going to movies, that's it. Mm-hmm. That's that's it. They die. Their movie theaters die, and they have to release them in, in uh, on uh, streams. Now they're currently keeping it alive the same way that PlayStation keeps its video game sales alive, <laughs> with exclusivity. So they buy up a property and make it so you can only watch DC stuff on HBO's live. Right, like. Only in movies. But even now. those are uh, not becoming uh, exclusive anymore either, because now like God of War is coming now to. Oh yeah, uh, ten PC years starting. Ten years next later, month. yeah. But, Same um, way GTA went to PlayStation ten years. Mm-hmm. Exclusivity ends eventually. It's starting to get even now. shorter now. I feel like well, yeah. there's been now where now that they're only giving you two years some of these games are like no we're only going to give you two years of it and that's it and it's well i'm talking uh titles so like god of war moves over because god of war has been around for 10 plus years and same for um the series has been around no no the series no i was just talking about the other new um their new god of war game and um yeah those are but that's because but that's because the title itself the the uh god of war not this specific game or the new game etc has been around so long that it's no longer 
profitable basically to keep it exclusive it, it's one of those weird things where exclusivity is good for a limited amount of time or possible for a limited amount of time and then it kind of becomes either not profitable or not possible and you got to stop and the only exception of that is when you trick people into like getting value so like a good example of that is diamonds diamonds aren't actually worth jack crap like they're not useful for anything mm -hmm. they just kind of look pretty and even then that's like a personal thing you know what i mean but they're valuable because of inflated rarity and because there's a monopoly on the diamond supply problem is you can't mon monopolize the video game supply you can only mon monopolize one title at a time but it's kind of counterproductive because you're trying to sell as many games as you can but you're immediately limiting the number of people you can sell games to and the reason they do that is so they can sell the console well, yeah no that's more of a yeah for just to sell more of their consoles and get more people to be like well gotta go to the playstation because they're the only ones that have god of war only have this only have this yep. only have that which once again uh, works it works for a time and for certain things it works really well but uh eventually it kind of yeah i, I just feel like the those exclusivity deals are starting to uh become Oh yeah, they're gonna die. Like, they're, they're they're getting more shorter and like they're they, you know like so, they like I said they used to be like ten years and then boom it was on somewhere else. But now they're I feel like they're only on PlayStation yeah. for about a year or two and then I'm already hearing they're so, coming on PC or so being ported to PC I was right gonna away. Say, or, that's why is PC. PC is going to do the to the to Xbox and PlayStation what streaming is doing to uh, movies. They, they are going to have to find a new niche where they are not just gaming. And they already kind of started moving towards that in the last generation where they're the whole home entertainment system. Because they're realizing that PCs are becoming affordable enough and, pow and available enough. Not now with the whole shortage and shit. But otherwise, before that, they were becoming powerful enough and available enough that people would prefer to grab a PC and though don't want any limits on their because we have access to steam right where there's any number of games from individual developers we are kind of disillusioned with the product specific thing which is also the reason why most of the big gaming companies are pulling off of steam for their own gaming specific centric programs like Battle.net and Origin and... Oh, yeah, those have been going, yeah, for a while now. Yeah, those right, but, uh, starting to do there. Yeah, but that's because yeah. they understand <clears throat> that Steam will kill they got Blizzard as well with their... Um, yep, and some of that's also... Stuff. Some of that's also to avoid responsibility, right? Like, because Fallout's yeah. all on its own platform, they don't have to give any refunds. They don't have to do shit. They don't have to conform to Steam's rules. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, I mean, in, I'm, I'm pretty sure they probably wouldn't want to be the assholes though, so that everyone leaves them. Like, Those are the assholes. I don't give you refunds, but <laughs> oh well, still, no, I know Fallout, what you mean. Yeah, they, yeah, could do, they, they, they have the power now to do whatever they kind of yeah, want to do. I will say point. they absolutely did that. By the way, that's documented proof. They they said fuck you guys, no refunds, fuck your thing. Fallout shit on everybody in that last game release. They got so much credit and un they got so much shit and they deserved it. They they. They earned every bit of shit. That, no, that, they... that was a yeah, pretty bad game when that one came out. Well, it wasn't um, just the game. It was everything about it. Like you, There's some videos you can go watch if you really want to, but they basically botched that release from merchandise to pre-orders to every single thing, and they were unapologetic, unhelpful, and didn't do anything until they got sued and forced to help. Hmm. It, was, it was bad, bro. It was so fucking bad. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, I know that they did release the Buzz Lightyear trailer. Yeah, I think we talked about that. And we got Chris that. Evans uh, oh, no, we didn't do last one. doing the voice of that one. I know some people are uh, kind of not upset, but just like sad and that we won't get Tim, Tim Allen, which is understandable. We've got him for quite a while, and he has been the, the voice for quite a while, and he is a very memorable kind of character. And when you see Buzz Lightyear, I guess you kind of see... Tim Allen's voice doing it, yeah. but I think it would be cool because it's it is going in a different kind of route of style. It's not going the you know the toy kind of route. That he is an actual person. real person, like which they they did before. They did a TV sh uh, series called Buzz Lightyear, and it was he wasn't a toy. He was actually doing missions and doing all this other stuff, flying around the galaxy and everything. And uh, 
don't know how many seasons that lasted for. I think that was about maybe one or two seasons. Yeah, it but, wasn't too much, but um, I remember the one you were, t- you yeah. were talking about. It was so they, I mean, they've done it right. before, so um, we'll see how this turns out. It looks cool. I mean, I'm excited for more high-tech uh, looking uh, Buzz Lightyear <laughs> than the toy version that we get of him. And yeah, I just want to see where they're going to go with it. And uh, it's cool yeah. to see that they've kind of updated his suit to kind of match still that original suit but they've made it look like we're okay that kind of makes sense like it's not a button right here is red buttons it's almost like a twisty knob and it says caution yeah so um and then they did add the kind of you know buttons that he has right here and uh yeah it's it's pretty cool um uh i guess i'm excited to check out what this buzz lightyear movie's gonna do um, when is this one supposed to come out? They did give us a release date, I believe. Uh, oh, not an actual month, but it just said summer 2022. So we will see it next year of summer. The only thing I'm, oh. I keep, I looked up immediately. They were like, oh, was Tim Allen's voice cut for political reasons? It's like, I mean, maybe. I don't think it was. Well, I don't know because to I, me, I, Disney not, is not, known if you for doing this that trailer. Kind of I mean, I, could, I don't think I could imagine Tim Allen just, doing this type of movie. I, I don't know. Maybe I that's just me. I don't think it matters too much, but I do see what you're saying. Um, I just, I don't know. To me, it just seems like it's going to be a little bit more serious, and I don't know. Tim Allen's voice. I don't know. Maybe I just don't take him that serious. I take him as yeah. this kind of jokester kind of guy he all is. the time. He is a jokester. His most of his. I mean, I don't yeah, think that's been all for yeah. years. Is that end? Even his new one, um, which I forget the name of. The yeah, man, that one. The yeah, Last no, Man that's, Standing. Yeah, he did do it. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, he did he's, do. Uh, he's, oh yeah, it was called The Last Man Standing. Yeah. Well, the only reason I know is I watched for a while because it was um, based in uh, Colorado. Oh, okay, nice. It, it wasn't Denver. I think it was either Boulder, or Colorado Springs. Uh, maybe it was Denver. But um, I was watching there, and um, it was pretty good until it got too political, and I kind of stopped watching because they, wow. they went into a whole, this whole like a whole bunch of different ones where I was just like, which is funny because it was actually political on the opposite side of what I think Alan's political views are. So it was totally huh. non-relevant, you know what I mean? Okay. But I think it's just funny because he, I know he's a very politically charged actor, uh, from what I understand, and. Disney is super sensitive to that kind of stuff, so it's a very believable story. But I agree with you that I don't think that's the reason. I think it's just coincidence. And I, once again, I don't think it was even a cut thing because, like, I don't know. I think what, like you said, that I think they're trying to separate it from the cartoonishness. But I think even more, they're just trying to separate it from the original Toy Story thing. Like, this is the story of the real Buzz Lightyear. This is not right. Uh, the kind of the Buzz Lightyear cartoon, right? Like that we got before, which was way more cartoonish and, you know, done in all these other styles. I don't know. That That's how I feel, though. I think I think it's interesting there. Um, and I pretty much don't got too much left. I know we're kind of getting onto the timing of uh, being out of time, whatever. But, uh, oh, one second. I think my fucking audio cut. Okay, can you see me? Yeah, there you go. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I thought my uh, <laughs> laptop died. Uh, oh, you're good. good for I that. Was... Uh, yeah, no <laughs> worries. All. No worries. I think we're about at the end anyway. So. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Um, I just wanted to pull up some last minute things. I guess yeah, sorry yeah. here was uh, before we ended off here was <laughs> just the um, yeah, like I said, Tim Allen stuff like that. We talked about that. The Buzz Lightyear. Uh, we'll definitely see where that's going to go. It looks in, like I said, the trailer looks pretty cool. I do like they put the Infinity to Beyond thing in there oh, too. Yeah. So they did a bunch yeah. of stuff that was really kind of uh, common. And it's Pixar, so I don't think they're gonna no. they're gonna botch their Let, let's their be honest, baby. What was so. the last <laughs> what was the last bad Pixar movie? I can't. I don't know. They right. can't really. That's, t- that's and they're some, not really bad. It's just like there's there, there could be less... this one that's like, oh, it was good. That's it. But yeah. then all the other ones are like they're great. Right. And that's <laughs> that's kind of my point. It's kind of like uh, Marvel's a little less reliable. But it's kind of like a Marvel movie. You don't go to a Marvel movie and be like, is this going to be garbage? You're just like, is this okay or is this re- good? Like, there's yeah. there's going to be a couple. But like I said, with the exception of Iron Man 3 and Thor, I can't think of a bad straight. Like, even Captain Marvel, which people give a ton of shit, is just an average movie. You know, it's a 7. It's fine. It's whatever. Or a 6. But that's still average. Like, people's... I think people's are so used to getting great movies that they don't uh, appreciate how good we get it. Because there are some shit movies out there. I watch a lot of B and C movies that are garbage. Like threes and twos. (laughs) So 
Yeah. We should be very grateful for what we get, honestly. Okay. Um, and let's see, some last minute things here that I wanted to say was, um, oh, I'm really excited to see this, but we will be getting uh, Brandon Fraser back as a villain in the new Batgirl film. Oh, yeah, he's um, going to be uh, Firefly, right? That's what they're saying, Firefly. Um, I'm really excited to see him back. You know, I was actually watching The Mummy yesterday with him, and I've always liked Brandon Fraser. He's I, just such a great actor. You know, I, um, I, I like he could have done a lot of cool, great things. If, it just sucks that, you know, he, what happened to him in his life and yeah, he had to pull himself away from all that, which is understandable, but to get himself back to where he needs to now where he's at now. But um, yeah, I'm just like, I, I just, uh, it's really cool to like see even the fans really get excited for him too, because I think even the fan made him cry on the live video saying, you know, we missed you and stuff and all that. And even comments saying we got to protect Brandon Fraser. Which is, um, which is funny to me because he's been back. Since yeah, he's been back since Doom like Patrol. what the last couple two years or so. Now I've been seeing him with the Doom Patrol stuff. Yeah, I think he he's doing a, a TV show right now. Like, I'm so he's, um, he's easily okay. He's second because there's a really the actress who plays uh, Crazy Jane or um fuck what's her name again Singularity Jane I think no that's another that's another Jane. Um, it's talking about yeah the one that has kind of the split yeah, personalities. She is the best actor in that show, but closely followed by. Uh, Brendan Fraser playing the ro uh, robot man because holy shit he does a good job as Cliff Steele like his and obviously it's just voice acting realistically and maybe some physical I guess maybe under the suit I don't know if he's the guy but if it's just voice he does an incredible job at putting emotion into voice lines which is hard to do with a character that has no facial expressions uh, I don't know maybe I'm jaded but I, I don't oh, know. No, I don't. Definitely. I don't. Yeah, I don't feel like um, I was the biggest Brendan Fraser fan before the before that. But I dev or, or even now. But I I props where they're due, man. That like his. I actually am super impressed by his That's performance. Yeah, I always loved him. Monkey Bone, the Mummy. Like I said, he's the, always just... been good. He's just never one of those <laughs> uh, actors where I was like, "That's somebody I want to watch every movie they ever made." He is one of those actors where I can basically say I like every role he's ever really played that i can think of i don't think he's ever been in a role that i was like that's a bad role or a bad role for him or he did that role bad like you i remember that's right he did looney tunes as well at the first one that they did oh uh, yeah that's right that was still yeah. pretty good yeah it wasn't bad yeah. honestly i remember that one it was a little like weird with the whole area 51 thing and yeah yeah no 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 but it was still like it was no, you know, good. Like, yeah, the right. role was good for him. <laughs> like I said, he's, it's one of those ones where, very similarly to Pixar, you just you don't point out bad Brendan Fraser things. You point out the ones that aren't as good as his great ones. Right. So, right. Um, I well, before we end this off, then I got one last thing. I think two or two last things here was okay. just the. Um, the oh come on what did i just do with it uh, oh the cowboy bebop trailer dropped finally i think it was a couple yeah. couple days ago yeah, and i'm really excited for it like i i, 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 feel, was a, I feel like it i was a bit up and down uh, like i was excited and hopeful but i wasn't like excited hopeful you know what i mean so like i was excited and hopeful but i wasn't excited hopeful now i'm excited I mean, like, hopeful it looks good i didn't notice <laughs> that it was it literally until he spoke i couldn't tell that that was harold from harold and kumar oh you couldn't huh yeah he, he he's i don't a good, remember he's some, i don't i don't he's remember done some good acting things. stuff then but uh after harold and kumar and after that you know he's kind of got some pretty good stuff of, after. you know what movie he did ones. really good on that i really liked him in was uh it was like a uh, one of those um not low budget films, but those ones where they just do it with the camera. But it was one of these updated versions where it's all done through the uh, laptop camera and, or the phone camera. And okay. it was about his daughter that was missing. And he was like going through her computer, trying to find her somehow, some way, talking to her friends and and then and, and finding it somehow. And, she, and he, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but you, you have to really watch it. it I'll have to a, check it out. I've never it, seen that one. Well, it must have been a really, a, really a, well a, performance from him, what, I think. What's What do they call those uh, film pieces, art pieces? Or they're 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 not meant for major theater release. They're never gonna make a ton of money, but they're really good movies. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me see if I can pull it up for you. Um, let me see what was it? Oh, Searching. That's what it was called. Yeah, definitely check it out. It was not too old. 2018 film. Um, but yeah, I I really enjoyed it. I think that might have been 
what probably put people to cast him for this row after watching that movie. <laughs> I, I think I would think I think it's one of his best. Uh, I was gonna say because before ever. that he he just really doesn't. As much as I remember, no, like, and I'm, he's not, and I'm looking at stuff. some of his other stuff too. Yeah, he hasn't really. Um, he just doesn't. A lot of this stuff has been comedy but stuff, but I think that was yeah one of his big big like drama roles that he did. And uh, like I said, I think he did a good job. So definitely check it out. I forgot he was Sulu in Star Trek. In the new Star yeah, Trek. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. I was going to say that, too. I remember him being I, in there, too. I didn't remember that. I saw both and didn't remember him at all. <laughs> and I remember... Um, I, well, no, I don't remember Kirk's actor, either. So, yeah. I remember uh, Spock's actor. <laughs> but he was already kind of big before that, so... Uh, I'm excited for the John, uh, this Cowboy Bebop show. It looks great. I mean, the, the music, re yeah. remi like they did a couple remix parts in there. I was like, oh, it's going to be great. They're still going to the original stuff, but they're just kind of updating it a little bit. And it sounds even more great because it's not like, you know, done in the 90s. Now he's got, you know, new stuff to make it sound even just more cleaner and clearer and just add whatever he wants to make it sound perfect. Um, so I really can't wait to listen to the rest of the show to see how the composer did everything else. I'm glad they got the original guy to do it. Um, and it, like I said, it looks good. I think Faye looks good to me. Um, yeah, everything looks I mean, good. The, from the trailer, it looks like they're they're kind of all portraying their characters kind of spot on to me. Even the fighting, a little bit of what we kind of saw, not too much of it. But some of the fighting scenes do look pretty great, too. I don't even know if that's John. It kind of looked like John, But who knows? We'll have to see because um, sometimes I know some actors like to do their own stunts. And he may be one of those guys. Um, yeah. But we'll definitely I, have to I wait and like see. I feel like if I was an actor, I'd do it just for the opportunity. When are you going to get yeah. to do your own? Right? you get the opportunity for a stunt guy to train you for one which would usually cost money right i don't yeah, know right but yeah i, I think um, that's i think it, it oh might and then be, we get to see ein <laughs> that was actually pretty cool i thought seeing ein was probably my favorite part i liked everybody else too and there were some really good things i actually know my favorite part is the, the like, can i kill her can i shoot her now <laughs> yeah, so like I said, I feel like he he's gonna do a good spike. I, oh yeah, I, uh, absolutely. I I, um, I was I'm gonna have trouble getting over the Herald thing. Uh, absolutely. I just watched right. way like too I much. Like I said, that's the same thing I do with the Brian Cranston. And it's no, I it's yeah, no. It over it, him being and, the Malcolm Dad. No, it, it's <laughs> absolutely a thing, and that's why when you said it for the the Brian Cranston one, I wasn't even like questioning it because I can totally like for me he did it well enough, and I'm hoping that I honestly think. Uh, he'll uh he'll do it as well uh harold lee will do it as well um for for spike or or yeah right <laughs> well that's why i was trying to get the like the names all correct because i'm used to being yeah. it's harold but his name is harold. actually harold and but, but yeah yeah so well uh we we'll definitely check to see where that goes the like i said the trailer i think and there's even like little homages too from like some if you did watch like there's the flower dropping oh yeah no did, there were a ton of like ton i thought that them. was cool like I, it really does feel like i think it's gonna pull almost and then like i think this is like you said one of the ones that will be easier to adapt to yes. a, like live action it's, and, it, and it's when the watching that trailer it felt like it kind of was Honestly, pulling out i, from I mean anatomy. it already it looks sound guy off of the and per, he's like what the per, fuck? I don't like to say this usually personally I would not be afraid to say that this looks better than every single other anime live adaption just from the trailer I'm not even yeah. close to afraid to say that it just does now let's not start with the fact that the the, the actors have been chosen specifically for mainstream release and as no offense to people in Asia etc but Hollywood lives in America that's why they cast all these white actors and English speak right that, that that's why and your movie will never be a blockbuster until you do that like no matter how good like even the Roni Kenshin one which was was a good adaption yeah it was good yeah it does not have even even by Japanese standards I don't know and I'm not knowledgeable of the real popular Japanese actors and actresses etc but I don't think it's incorporating a large variety, etc. Those either. Probably the main character and one other person are a large actor in those movies. That's that would be my guess. I'm not gonna say that for sure. I'm just going to make estimates on budgets and story flows and everything and the way the media works, right? And the only reason Cowboy Bebop was different is because it's legit a cult classic, easily one of the best anime ever made, super popular in America, has been since basically its creation. Like, it's not, like, obviously at the top of the charts, 
but nobody's right. ever like the new generation didn't get there and was like oh Bo- cowboy bebop shit the new generation came in and was like yeah that's instant classic right <laughs> definitely definitely but yeah i think that was uh, pretty much all i had on my list here and uh cool. yeah i think we can kind of end it off there then yep uh i did want to do one last one uh oh yeah just because uh, we're already over time anyway. So <laughs> uh, so I might as well throw on the last one just to get the title making sense. But uh, I do know that we talked about, or we didn't talk about it, but I do know that The Witcher's new trailer came out. I know you haven't really checked it out. I don't know if you played any of the games or read the books either. So She haven't played the games either. I've always wanted to play the games. I I've literally bought Witcher to. 3 to play, and I still haven't done it yet. So Because I've, <laughs> I've heard that that's the one to buy. I've heard the first yeah, two are fine. Yeah, that's definitely what I've heard, that, too. 3 is the one Yeah, 3 is the one to do. That that one's worth playing, has a lot of replayability, which I'm not going to do. Let's be honest. It's a four, to yeah. six, however many year old game. I We're adults. We don't got time for that shit. That's just not happening. Even streaming it, I couldn't do that the full multiple replays of a 50 hour game or however long it is um but it looks pretty good i am convinced by the trailer alone that they've already increased the uh uh, special effects budget for the season nice and already thrown in more monsters and everything i don't think it's even a question so it should be super good uh henry cavill is a great actor don't think that's in question um i mean some people may not like etc etc but i think henry cavill's a great actor uh and he did really good on this character i think having said that i don't know anything about the fucking character so who the fuck knows but i enjoyed it having knowing nothing about the character so you know there's that and that's an important thing to consider uh and it was good i think it was well written well acted well produced had some comedy yeah it's on my list to watch for sure i, I have yeah. been trying to but get to get it on there it's dude it's the i and i could i did <laughs> it gets worse every day we're never catching up we're never going to watch everything we're never getting to it there's not enough time in our life let alone the yeah. day to watch all this stuff and read all this stuff right. and so i pick and i choose and if i and it's on my list the same thing with the, the toys that made us it's on my list and i'm gonna try to get to it but if i never get to it at least it's on the list right <laughs> for sure and i think that's about it i don't want to get us too much past because we're about 20 minutes over our usual time uh, but I hope everybody enjoyed watching both, uh, he, you know, on Facebook and YouTube, wherever you watch us. And we'll see you next time on uh, Comic Convos. Oh, yeah. Good I for- one. I forgot. This was episode 150. Yay us. <laughs> 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 All right. Later, guys. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com 3D and get a exclusive access for as low as a dollar.